fan of softball, then you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. We're bringing you more interviews, more videos, and more product reviews than anyone else on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Fast Bitch TV Show. Now, if you found our show on Facebook, MySpace, or another video sharing site, please check out our website, fastpitch.tv. Not fastpitch.com, but fastpitch.tv. It's the place to find all of our past episodes and the place to keep up with our future episodes, too. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, Softball Junk, and please visit their website at softballjunk.com, of course. Now, at the end of today's show, I'm going to give you a special code, and that code will give you $20 off softball bats on their website, so make sure stay tuned for that code now now a few weeks ago i met a gal named christine summers now christine owns the in owns the zone academy in saginaw texas sorry about that in case you're not familiar with christine she was a former division one player and former college coach she grew up here in the dallas fort worth area playing asa softball and she was a part of two teams that won ASA Nationals. Quite an accomplishment. Now, she invited me to come out to her facility and said she would give us a private clinic. So I did. She gave us quite a few, which we'll be showing you. But today, Christine is going to give us a clinic on Bunny. Here we're going to talk about the importance of it, why we do it, how to do it uh, effectively and right. Um, see so many times when... You know, we have a runner on the second base, and we've got to get him to third base, and we just can't get the bunt down. Uh, it's so frustrating, and uh, there's, we, should, we should never have that happen. We, we should always be practicing our bunny. Um, coaches, put it on your players to do it over and over again until they can put it down all the time. Um, uh, players, practice it. I know that it's, it seems like it's fun, and you know, we're not hitting the ball far away, but it's so important, and we don't we don't do it that often, and so when we do it, we've got to do it right and do it effectively. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you the correct way to do a bunt. Um, you can hold your hands a little bit differently depending on the bunt, but there are certain keys that we want to do the same. Uh, when we're bunny, okay, we want to keep when it looks just like we're hitting. Uh, it looks just like we're hitting. You can even load up to make the, the fielders think that you're about to hit. Go for it. Uh, Load up, and then if it's a sacrifice, which means we have to get it down. We have a runner on, and on the bases, and they got to get to the next base. That means we are not important. The player's not important that's batting. That means you have to get it down. So it doesn't matter how early you get that bunt out. Show it. Get it down so that you know you've got your hands in the right position and you're going to get that bunt on the ground. So when we're back here, we want to, what I say is we want to drop the hands. Some people do it different. Some people will spread the hands out a little bit. Uh, we want to make sure that this hand right here is loose, though. We don't want to grab it real tight. We want to have a loose grip and loose grip on this hand, but firm. Okay, we don't want the, bat, the, the ball to just make the bat move. So we either want to spread out. You can put the hands up here a little bit, um, or I put my hands pretty much together. That gives me more control versus when the hands are out here, and if you want to move it to a certain side, you're having to move quite a bit. Here, it's just a simple movement of your hands, okay? Um, so either one, if you do have your hands uh, to where they drop down, drop them down back here. Drop them down. All you're gonna do is you're gonna open up those hands, let the bat drop, and grab it at the barrel. Um, that way, you're not getting your hands out here and then trying to move them, okay? Even if you're gonna move just your hand up, do it all back here. Do it as you're moving so that you can get the bat out in front and have it in perfect position. Now, where do we want the bat? Okay, really important here. We want the bat to be, and I'm going to do it from the side so you can see. We want the bat way out here in front of us. We, we see this a lot of times. see these elbows bent. And what happens is, is when that ball comes, if our elbows are really bent, we'll have a tendency to want to push them out at the ball. So we don't want them locked. We don't want them straight. But we want to have it just a little bit bent, but far enough so that even if we happen to push out a little bit, it's not going to be that much. So we want to have it, we have it way out in front of us so that we can see the ball. That's the most important reason. If we have our hands bent in here, we can't see the ball. We have to look down and see it, and that's probably when we're going to get hit in the face. Okay? So we get that bat out in front of us. We're going to have bent knees. We're going to keep our feet pretty much straight angled 
toward first base because that's where we're going to be running. We don't want to do this. Okay? See some people that will open their feet up and they'll, they'll try and bunt. Now they're open. Now they've got a turn to run. Keep those feet to where they're just turned a little bit. So now when you drop, you're ready to go to first base. Okay? So we have our hands back. We're dropping our hands back here, getting the bat out in front. Now, think about your head here, okay? We want to get low and we want to get over so that we can see the ball hit the bat. We don't want to have to be moving our head down to it. This is going to move too much. We want to keep our head down. We want to be low. We want to be bent, ready to run. Keep the bat here. Just so all you have to do is move your eyes. You move your eyes. You let the ball hit the bat. You drop and you're ready to go to first base. Um, now, try those things when, when you are practicing. See what feels most comfortable to you as far as the grip. Uh, but like I said, the most important thing is having the bat out in front of you, being a little bit loose. Don't bend the arms too much in, okay? Um, now, that's gonna be for your sacrifice. Sacrifice, like I said, you gotta get the butt down. Um, now, how do we get it to first and third? This is really important too. If, if we've got someone, the first baseman's playing all the way up and the third baseman's all the way back at third base because the runner's on second, we gotta be able to put it down at third base or opposite. Third baseman's in, first baseman's all the way back at the first, at her base, gotta get it to first. This is very, very simple. Uh, little, some, a lot of people make this too difficult. They, they, wanna, they wanna do too much movement. They wanna push it out there. This is very slight little movements. Okay, when we have the bat out in front, all we're going to do is tilt the bat a little bit. So what I say is use your right hand, okay, if you're a, right, if you're a righty. The one on the top, left hand if you're a left-hander. When you have your bat out, we want to, throw, we want to hit it to first base. We're just going to pull the bat back a little bit, just slightly. And that's all we have to move it. That's going to make the ball go to first base. Going to third base. It's the opposite. We're going to push the bat forward just a little bit and that's going to put it down to third just slightly now really important here you've got to do that before you're hitting the ball we don't want to be pushing the ball as it's as, as we're making contact we want to get it set and get in position right before the ball is going to actually hit that's going to help it not be real hard but go in the direction that you want okay now that brings me to a push bunt this is something that is taught some, it's not taught all the time, but it is important to know how to do it in the right situation. Um, say, you know, you've got your, your first and third in, your middle infielders are, are way out, and you want to try and just push it through, okay? Uh, what we're going to do here, still very simple, we don't want to have big movements. And I'm going to show you from this side again. Now what we're going to do here is we are actually going to bend those elbows now. Instead of having your hands way out here, which a lot of people will do, and then what they think of push bunt is I'm going to push at it, I'm going to swing at it, and, and try and hit it as hard as I can somewhere, and they don't know where it's going. We want to actually bend those elbows, have the back tilted at the direction that we want it, and since our elbows are bent, as the ball's coming in, we're just going to push just slightly at the ball. Over here, push. It's just like a little, little jab at the ball, but we have control of our bat, we already know which direction we want, and we're not doing any swinging, which means we could hit it incorrectly, uh, there's just a lot of things could go wrong with that. We want to be in control of our butts. Um, so that's how we do the, the push butt effectively. Uh, and now lastly, we're going to talk about a sneaky butt. Uh, sneaky butt, where we want to get this butt down and make it to first base. Uh, this is for a hit. Uh, we are going to do this later. We're going to wait. Um, Really important here, uh, go ahead and load. Uh, if, if that's what you do, we want to get in position like we are hitting. We don't want to sell it to them that we're going to be bunting. So we're going to get our hands, we're going to load up, we're waiting. As the ball's coming in, here's where we're going to drop those hands behind us. We're going to drop those hands. Here comes the ball. As the ball's about to be here, we wait, we, we just bring that, those hands out and we hit it and drop the bat. So we're waiting essentially until the ball is almost to us and we are quickly bringing those hands out and dropping and running. So we're making quick contact, drop the bat and run as quick as we can. 
Um, we're, we're almost over the ball when we do this. We don't want to even have our hands too far out. We're not going to have time. We're going to be making contact right about here, drop, and run. Uh, so practice that. Uh, high balls are great for, for the sneaky mug, although you can't always control what, what pitch you're going to get. Um, that, that's a great pitch to hit uh, if that's what you're going to be doing. So practice the different bunts. It's going to make you a, a better player. Um, college coaches are going to like that someone can put down a bunt. Um, so make sure that you practice that every time that you go and hit. Practice your different bunts. Practice putting it down to first and third. Don't just do it to do it. Uh, be effective with your practices um, and be, be really controlled with your hands and loose and uh, you'll put down a great bunt. I hope you enjoyed uh, Christine's bunting clinic and look forward to many more of those to come. If you want to find out more about Christine, or her facility in Saginaw, Texas, just visit her website, thezoneacademy.com. Now, before I close the show, I want to make sure that everyone who watches the show on her iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever, knows about our app. You can find more information on it at fastpitchapps.com. It's the Fast Pitch TV app. It does cost $1.99, but what a great way to help support our show, and we need some help. So don't forget to check out our website at fastpitch.tv. As I said earlier, become a fan of the show on facebook.com slash fastpitchtv. Follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash fastpitchtv. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the show, Softball Junk has a special offer for the Fast Pitch TV show family. Softball Junk is going to give you $20 off any non-sale softball bat on their website. That's right. You can just take $20 right off the price of the bat. So the next time you buy a bat from their website, softballjunk.com, that is, just enter the code FPTV1 and save yourself $20, okay? Visit their website at softballjunk.com and start saving money now. Now, I don't mind you sharing this information with your friends. Please, tell them all about it, but don't just give them the code. Tell them to come here, watch the show, and there's a code they can get to save $20. Help us get some viewers. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.